I made some pretty uh he's gonna go pretty cry. out of line go comments cry. to George about George's beliefs. And I said, uh, I, I'm not going to say what I said. I'm not even going there again because I'll tell you why. The following three weeks have been the hardest period <laughs> of my fucking life. Buddy, God kicked me in the dick as hard as he fucking could. There, there is... There, it's soon. We call that a happening. God smack. <laughs> I you went, got I went, God smack. I went. Son. There's no way. There's no way. We started off in uh, in Qatar. I got, I got violent food poisoning. Oh, before that, camera taken away at the airport. Oh yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah. Twenty thousand dollar camera taken. We, we were invited by Qatar. We landed Qatar. Camera stripped from us. <laughs> All right, fire, fire. Twenty thousand dollar camera. All right, no problem, no problem. What you got? Get, to, get We got, we got it back a couple days later. But we get back, get, get to my hotel. Uh, you know, think, it's, it's just little things here and there. Things are showing up. Uh, uh, we misscheduled. Um, I, again, got violent fucking food poisoning. Next day, got alcohol poisoning. Um, uh, 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 our luggage was delayed, so we, we had no clothes to get to our events. Um, Qatar was the first time I felt the wrath of God. And then... <laughs> and then... And then, and then the, the Zilla stuff dropped. And uh, uh, I had some shit happen in, in in Denmark when I when I was supposed to meet my girlfriend's parents. Uh, me and you got in a scuffle. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Outside the, <laughs> outside the game. Oh, me and Mike got in a massive fight. I got in his face yeah. because Nina Nina <laughs> Nina put her finger. She's a pointer, and she put her finger in Mike's face. And Mike rightfully so goes, "Get your finger out of my <laughs> face." And, and I and then I instinctual I go, "What the? F I'll smack the." Fuck out of you. That's my girl. No, and you said, now my finger's in your face. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> that sounds and more just, like <laughs> and I literally just and I literally just said, <coughs> I'm going to go in the game now. And I walked away. <laughs> but it was just a representation <laughs> of just how horrible things had gotten. Listen, I I I um <clears throat> ironically, I defamed Jesus and God and I felt his wrath. <clears throat> and by the way, I want I want to make something clear. And I'm 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 I have I have something I'd like to say to you that I've been thinking about, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say that for a second because I want to hear your, your take on this. But um <clears throat> I'm not a fucking atheist. I believe in God. People think I, I I don't I don't believe in God. I might not identify as the same God as as you, but um, it was just it was very telling to me how the karmic energy of the universe. This is what I'll call it. Just went right back around and and put me in my place. You want me to tell you something? <clears throat> I'll make this quick because people uh tend not to love when I talk about Jesus. But let me just tell you something. Actually, no, I don't I don't want to come off like kind of said. This is actually how I feel. Because I, I came off like funny, but I don't want people to think I'm telling a joke. Uh, the night before it happened, bro, I'm sitting and I'm reading the Bible. And I literally say a prayer to God. And I go, man, like, this is when me and you were kind of like going back and forth and I was getting pissed at you. And I was like, fucking dude, I just, I, God, I know you love him, but I want, I want, I want to kill him. I want to. Punch him in the face. Can I sit? Can I? I want to. I want to hurt. Wait, hold on. Let me finish. Okay, okay. <clears throat> but I know you don't want me to. And I know you love him. And I know this opportunity between two best friends could open a lot of people's eyes to who God is. So I sat there and I said, God, whatever direction. And by the way, I was getting so much heat for the Bobby Lee thing for walking off. This was the period, right? So I sat there and I go, God, I go, what do you want from me, bro? And I swear I have two witnesses. God says, be quiet and love. And I was just like, whoa. And like, bro, like I felt it, right? Wait, who are the witnesses? <clears throat> Watch. So I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the kitchen. Bell's cooking dinner. And I sat there and I go, Bell, I think God just talked to me. Like, I'm not trying to be like a lunatic. And she goes, what do you mean? And I go, I think, I think, and hear me out. I think I just got to talk out of love. I got to talk out of love. And she's like, why do you keep saying that? And I was like, I don't know. I just feel like I got to talk out of love. And it was so strong in my heart, bro. I left my Bible and my phone right by Bell. And I sat on a couch and I'm just sitting off and I'm like, bro, what does he, what does he want from me? What does he want from me? What does he want me to do? How can I fix this? How can I go and, 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 and portray Jesus in the best way possible? I get a phone call. I miss it because I'm over here. Another phone call, another phone call. She goes, hey, Adam is blowing up your phone. The guy who works, you know, from the chiropractor place. And uh, I answer the phone. He's dripping wet, bro. Like he just got out of the shower. He goes, bro, I got to tell you something. He goes, whatever you're doing, Jesus told me to tell you that he loves you and yes. And I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. I go, why did you just say that? Bell put her knife down. I go, buddy, 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 back up. Why did you say that? He goes, I have no idea what's going on. I'm in the shower because that's why he was wet. 
He goes, I'm praying about my family, my friend. He goes, three times in my prayer, God interrupted me. He goes, go tell George, whatever he feels in his heart is right. So I go, whoa, the next day I'm standing here on the podcast and you're saying this shit. And I'm like, whoa, he's really like spewing out his heart. Like he's really spewing out his heart. And two things I caught in our conversation that we were having. When I said, Jesus is my Lord and Savior, you said he's mine too. And that rang in my heart. I go, that's weird. Because like we, we like we're not seeing that on the same page. And then you were fighting that I needed a therapist and that the Bible wasn't enough. And I said, I think the Bible has more uh, knowledge than any man. And you said, I think that has merit to it. Wait, and, say, say that again. Please say that again. Uh, that the Bible has more wisdom than a man who's trying to like... Or woman. Or yeah, woman, whatever. Yeah. whatever with therapist. And you said, yeah, I believe that has merit to it. And it was at that moment, bro, where I was like, oh my God. Like we're, we're learning... So how I see it is God has an arrow, right? And I'm sitting here thinking I'm right and you're sitting there thinking you're right. And I had a habit of speaking out of like, yo, I have to convince you, I have to do this. But sometimes it didn't come from love because I'm just, I'm convicted and I'm just trying to like help you. And then you're like, nah, fuck that, blah, blah, blah. And all we had to learn is like, regardless of what you say and regardless of what I say, speak out of love. Speak out of love. So then when the whole world went from like, look at this pussy, he doesn't know how to talk, he's so stupid, he talks about Jesus, he walks off. And then you did what you did. And then God literally took the whole world and flipped it on its head. And it was right at the moment where I was like battling. I'm like, God, like you gave me everything that I have to sit in this chair. I go, am, is, am I speaking too much about you? Are people getting annoyed? Like, what's the deal? What's happening here? And to be honest, bro, like it just came to the conclusion of this. There is a very, very, very real God. I don't care who stands before me now. There is a very real God. And if anything, Logan, you should take away that, bro, like, the Japan thing was one thing, but you're a good hearted person and you learned from that and you moved on. And a lot of people in the comment section was like, Logan doesn't deserve George. George should leave and go do other podcasts. And I sat there and I, and, and I really mean to say this from my heart, bro. Like, what kind of man are you that when your friend says something or does something that you're like, okay, now the one time he fucks with me, I'm out. I'm done. I'm not like it really made me realize that we are we are in a generation fueled by burn the neighbor that's next to you and i just wanted to take the time to say thank you for everything you've given to me thank you for the opportunity you've given to me i'm sorry you're going through what you're going through but god loves you and he is still with you regardless of the situation that you put yourself in regardless in the light that you want to paint yourself in there is a very real god that will walk through this journey with you even though the whole world turned against you that god is right near you neither him or me or mike or any single person here will ever abandon a man like you cuz you're not worth abandoning and i love you god damn I well, love you, well, bro. Maybe not the. Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.